Okay guys, so this is how you program the air mouse remote. You want to make sure you have the remote with the RF slash infrared. If I push the button once, it means it's in RF. If I push the button again, it blinks three times fast, it's in infrared. There it is. Now it's in infrared mode. Okay, so what that means is you can use this as a mouse um, and you, you, can turn, you can turn it on at, uh, on the air mouse here when it's in RF mode. And if you're going to use a keyboard, you want to make sure you use the, the air mouse and then click with the OK button on the area that you want to input. But you do not want to use the air mouse with the keyboard. It's going to be jumping all over the place. So make sure that's off. Okay, we're clear? All right, so now we're going to be in, we're in infrared mode. And I'm going to show you how to program your TV remote so that it can turn off and on your TV as well as be able to control your TV function. Hold down one and two. Now it's dim, press it once, and then we gotta hold down this infrared re remote button until it stops flashing. So I guess it's still taking in the information. So I'm just gonna hold down that power button. So after the light stops flashing, release the power button on the infrared remote. Wait for the light to turn off, then air remotes can now power on and off the box as an infrared remote. So because I'm not programming my box, I'm actually programming my TV, let's try it and see if it works. So right now it's off. I'm going to turn on, and there it is. There's my power button. I just programmed the TV to turn back on by using the air mouse remote. Okay. So let's try this again. The idea is to program now the volume control. And the way you do that, same thing. You're going to set up in, in learn mode. So I'm going to press OK and 2 at the same time until that light turns on. Right there, it goes bright. There it is, now it's bright. And then I want to program the volume up. So I'm going to hold that guy, or actually just push it once. Now it's blinking, it's, it's waiting for me to input. I'm going to hold down the volume control on my, on my TV remote. And it's done. I'm going to wait for it to turn off. There it is. Now let's go try the volume control button. Hmm. That button may not be programmable. So what I recommend is using the color buttons down here. You see these color buttons? So what we're going to do now is uh, same idea. Hold down the OK and the right, or sorry, the OK and 2. There it is. And then we're going to press the upper audio button there, this guy here, the blue, once until it blinks. Now it's ready. Hold down the volume control until it stops blinking. And we wait for it to turn off. So I do apologize. I don't believe these other buttons are programmable. I know these for sure and the power button. So we'll give it a second. It's off now. now. Let's try the blue one. It should control your volume. And there it is. You can see it's working. Okay. So what I would do then is hold down the uh, OK and 2. And then we will hold down the volume down button, um, actually it would be the yellow button, it's blinking, hold down the volume down button, and then it just, it's saved, we have to wait till that turns off, and then our yellow button should be our, our uh, volume down button. Wait for that to turn off, there it is, alright, so point at the TV. Let's check out our volume control. We're going to hit the yellow button, and there it is. So now we have blue as our volume up, and then we have yellow as our volume down. All right, and then you can program anything with these other two buttons. I, I would recommend maybe doing like the uh, your, your TV box, your Kodai box. I would program the red button to be the power button. So uh, you can do that. You can do this control, and then this one here could be the, you know, whatever you want on the other on the box okay but you do have full control on the box on these so
thanks to my son Caesar for helping me record this and uh, I appreciate the help buddy thank you so um, there you go guys so that's how you would program the air mouse remote in case you have the ability to power on off your CV or your box and then you have these four to program again you want to hold down OK and 2 and we are done